those who are going for mtech moral of the story is you are going to be very busy in the 7th semester and 8th semester is full time training so this is the semester where you need to be very focused uh, just a second so computer networks tafel these are the two subjects from this semester in some basic part of nis they'll be part of the gate examination so those who are targeting mtech should pay attention to cn tafel in basics of nis you already know machine learning is very important i don't think i need to uh, tell you how now uh, in demand that is in the industry this days soc will of course be useful to you so with this background let us start with computer networks so computer networks the textbook which you are going to follow is tenenbaum on this subject is offered in many branches ec ic it and computer so in library many copies are available as well as you should be able to borrow textbook from your seniors across the branches this subject would be there however the orientation will be different for different branches in our branch like in ec the main focus would be on the communication channels and protocol like how they can contribute in communication channels and based on that their perspective could be that while being a computer engineer our perspective would be more on the protocols like which type of protocol should be used so as to enable the successful efficient and reliable communication are we together so far okay so in today's class i don't intend to actually teach you the syllabus from the textbook okay we will just talk in today's class i'll throw some words at you i'll hear from you and from next class onwards will be focused on the course which we are supposed to learn so now i think all of us know that computer networks their collection of computers right and i don't think i need to explain you importance of this this class we are able to conduct through internet now when i use the word internet the full form of that is inter networks when networks are connected together they form an internet so i can say that there are two networks when you come to the college then there is one network in lab 3 one network in lab 2 when these two networks are connected they form an internet and this is the internet through which you are learning so when we refer to the internet then i is supposed to be capital any other internet i should be small so when i said the internet means our www the largest network in the world which is made up of many small networks and through which we are sending emails we are watching videos we are accessing our social media and what not so use of computer networks we know they are used in business applications home applications then we have mobile users and social media is there and because of that there will be some social issues as well would you like to tell me some business applications can you write down some business applications yes vmware freelancing i was looking for more general applications which even a layman would be aware about yes inventory google apps or let us say e shopping right e commerce when we are going to yes amazon flipkart or let us say when we are going for e banking all of them are business applications 
then home applications can you think of some home applications of network okay games can you think of anything else okay social media apps mm -hmm. yes there is a parallel let us say at your home as well you use hotspot yes file sharing exactly through hotspot or bluetooth you would be sharing some data among yourselves which is not for the professional purpose but between each other then we have yes iot definitely iot is going to be the next big thing when we are talking about the networks it is internet of things where they are expecting that when you come home at that time ac will be started then probably electric geyser that would be on if you are having a habit of going to bath directly after coming from there and then probably microwave will start if you kept some food inside and uh, you should be able to control your devices while driving the car etc that is what in the future we are looking in iot then yes you have alexa mobile users or uh, in mobile users we have laptop users or we have cell phone users then right so now your network can be like this like there can be one server server is the one which provides services a specific type of services will be provided by server and there might be multiple clients connected to the server now they might not be directly connected but there would be network in between through network we don't know when i say network then i don't know whether three computers are there in the between or five computers are there there is some network there is some path available and through which these clients are connected to the server so this could be example of one of the networks then usually when i use the word client and server at the time client is the one who is requesting the services and server entertains them so on the client computer there will be a client process who would send a request to the server computer server process will be processing that and reply will be generated and then it will be given back to the client this is a typical client server scenario when i say client server then one of them is demanding the service one of them is providing the service they might be directly connected or they might not be directly connected now it is not always so that internet needs to have client server model it can have peer to peer service when i say peer to peer that means both of them are at the same level none of them is demanding services none of none of them is asking the services there are no fixed client and servers like here there are two people who are communicating with each other then he is sending data here just email we have forwarded that email here and she is also receiving email from here and he is sending some text message here something like that when i say peer to peer that means they are at the same level students are are peer of each other when we say faculties they are peer of each other then if we say managers they are peer of each other they follow the same protocols they do the same job they work the same way we cannot say the same for client and server they function differently client requests and server entertains while here they communicate with each other see again i repeat there is no specific you know flow or the syllabus which i intend to cover at least in today's class i just want you to be aware of several terminologies that is the aim so at any point of time you may interrupt me and if it is in the scope of today's class we will talk about that otherwise i'll say that we will learn about it later now let us say these are some tags b2 say that is business to consumer like booking ordering books online when we are ordering the books at that time business is connected to the consumer even when we are ordering food through zomato or swiggy 
at that time that falls in the category of business to consumer where consumers are directly connected to the business the other could be business is connected to the business like one larger supplier is providing data to the smaller one like car manufacturer is ordering tires from supplier and then there could be your local car uh, office or let us say what do you say the car company not company the retailer retailer would be ordering from the manufacturer that is also b2b yes showroom exactly yes showroom or dealership true true they were the words which i was looking for then government to consumer like when we file taxes at that time consumer is connected to the government or when you are asking for your pan card uh, do how many of you are having the pan card great those who don't have that that can be easily applied online and if you are 18 years old i would recommend you to apply for that because in the seven after seven semester when you will start your job then companies will ask for your pan number and the proof so you can already apply for pan card so that is our government to consumer then we have consumer to consumer where like, like in oil x we are having auction where directly people are communicating with each other there are some uh, second hand groups as well where they will be sharing their products details and then they can communicate when we say music sharing then peer to peer like we are having our central data where i am depositing something others will be accessing that and so on i am not a music company and you are not a client to me but all of us are peer to peer and we are sharing our data with each other so these are some of the takes where your consumer is directly or indirectly involved now there are two terms which i would like you to tell me that what is wireless and what is mobile do they mean the same thing when i say wireless or if i say mobile are the same like wireless device or mobile device then do i necessarily talk of the same things okay someone says that mobile is subset of wireless no they are not same so let us first conclude that they are not synonyms of each other they mean different things old telephone probably is it mobile see when i say mobile that means it is portable it can be moved from one place to the other place which is mobile which which can which is not fixed which is not steady okay so when we say the old phone with our wires they were not mobile because they were connected at one place only you know you can just you know move that like in within one feet or something like that but they are not truly mobile like our laptop when i when i say desktop then desktop is not mobile when i say laptop then our laptop is mobile okay. and when we say wireless that means always when we are talking about any network in the network there will be communication link or communication channel through which you are sending the data and you are receiving data do you agree to that in absence of communication channel we will not be able to do that so that communication channel can be physical that means wires or it can be wireless if you can it see the cable then that is the wireless connection or if you are going for dial up connection you may have cable connected to your place so now let me also introduce some other term reliable okay. so wireless in which there is no physical communication link mobile the device is portable then we are talking about reliable when i say the service is reliable or the network is providing reliable service what i mean by that is whatever data i am sending the same data is received by the receiver this is not same as let us say uh, 
okay let me give you let me explain by the example if i'm sending 0110 then if my receiver is getting 011 that means there is some data missing or if the receiver is getting 011 and the last one is changed from 0 to 1 then the first one is having missing data this is having altered or corrupted data or here the entire data is there but one extra bit is there that means some duplicate data the last bit is duplicated okay or something like that if this happens then we say the service is not reliable when we have sent 0110, I want the other party to exactly receive this. No more, no less, nothing missing, no duplication in between. If it is getting the same data, then we can say the service is reliable. In which data integrity is maintained. In a way, we can say that data is not compromised and data integrity is maintained. Then that is reliable. Are we clear with these three terms? Okay, then let me ask you a question. Okay, uh, let me... Uh, if data gets converted from let us say 8 bit to 16 bits, no, it is not reliable then, then it is unreliable. If you are sending 0, 0110 and if your receiver is getting two times this then also we can say it is not reliable it is not acceptable to us then there is something called okay I hope you can see the screen connection oriented versus connectionless services so when we say connection oriented at that time, there are three phases which will be mandatorily followed. First, connection is to be established. Then data is to be transferred. And at the end, connection would be closed. Connection establishment, transfer of data and closing of the connection. If these three phases are followed, then we say the service is connection oriented service. In case of connectionless, whenever you have data, you simply send the data. You don't establish connection or you don't release the connection. So, if you're comfortable with these four terms, then I would like to give you an example and ask you to categorize, ask you to find out properties of that particular one. Uh, do we have any doubt in wireless versus wired, mobile versus fixed, reliable versus unreliable, and connection rented versus connectionless? Are we good? Okay, okay, well, so now let us talk about our postal service. There is a very vague and crude example which is not much reliable or relatable here, but still, let us do it. Our postal service. So, let us say we are sending a postcard. When we are sending a postcard, what do you think? Is it wireless or wired? You are writing a postcard and then you are sending that. Of course, you know, it is not uh, much relatable here, but we will do it nonetheless. So it is wireless. Is it mobile or fixed? Mobile, true. Is it reliable or unreliable? When you say reliable, meaning of that means uh, when you are sending data, then the same data will be received. So, when you are sending a postcard, are you sure that no one will add one letter over there and it will be sent? No, postcard is not kidnapped. Let us say, post uh, postman is not kidnapped, but uh, he can have a pen and he has written just a zero or one over there. 
then the data might be changed and if it is failing and letter might not be received altogether yes we don't know whether letter would be received or not so it is not that that there is something called partly reliable even if it is failing once then it is unreliable for us like if i trust you and i tell you a secret you know i tell you 10 secrets and if you just you know reveal two secrets to your friend then i'll say you are not reliable i'll not say that you are 80% is reliable but you are 20% is not reliable it is not like that either you are reliable or you are not reliable so a postcard is not reliable because we will not even know whether data is delivered you know we need to know that data is delivered and data is correctly delivered if we can or if data is not delivered then we need to know that data is not delivered but if it is delivered it would be correctly delivered then that is reliable is it connection oriented or connectionless it is connectionless yes now there is something called speed post in the postal service not the plain postcard uh, in the speed post there will be cover and the letter would be inside or the Uh, in the envelope there will be uh, the letter or content whatever you say would be inside and whenever it is delivered then uh, the postman will ask you to sign it that you have received it in postcard he'll simply throw in your uh, for you and he'll go away you know uh, while in case of this uh, speed post he'll ring the bell he'll ask you to sign it and then he'll go so speed post or which is similar to your courier service actually you know speed post is similar to the courier service which you might have used so let us again try is it wireless or wired wireless is it mobile mobile okay what about reliability is it reliable yes it would be reliable here it will be reliable is it connectionless or connection oriented it is connectionless true now let us go for the old telephones which we used to have i don't know whether you have seen that the landline phones how many of you have seen the landline phones Okay, fine. So you have a fair idea about them, right? So is it wireless or wired? That's wired. That is true. It is wired. Is it mobile or fixed? Fixed. It is steady. Yes. Is it reliable or unreliable? Harsh is saying unreliable. Yash is saying unreliable. Others are saying reliable. Think over that again, all of you, and tell me whether it is reliable or not. Does that ever happen that you call someone? and then the third party's voice is also heard to you you have made one to one call but you know there is someone else who is yes something like that so if there is extra data in between it is not just cross connection but someone else can also send data to you so data might be changed not only he can listen to that he can contribute in the data so whatever you are speaking not exactly that is audible to the receiver but something else might also be receiver have you experienced it so if that happens that means our data has changed and whenever data is compromised we say that is unreliable is it connection oriented or connectionless yes it is connection oriented first you dial the number then you speak when you speak means you are transferring the data and at the end we keep the receiver uh, the that receiver there or receiver or whatever you said that handle that means you are closing the connection now we are talking about our cell phones the mobile phones or cell phone cellular phones 
tell me this four characteristics about your cell phones write down all four characteristics we are having all the combinations here huh all of you are saying wireless and mobile that you don't have any confusion but some of you are saying reliable some of you are saying unreliable and some of you are saying connectionless and some of you are saying connection oriented so we are not going to discuss about wireless and mobile because it seems it is very clear to all of you now let us talk about connection do we establish connection when we want to talk to someone you dial the number right when you dial the number at the time connection is being made and at the end you end the call that means you are closing the connection it is not that you are simply taking the phone and you are speaking that doesn't happen so we are establishing connection then we are sending data and at the end we are closing the connection so it is connection oriented what about reliable is it reliable or unreliable yes kaushal that is unreliable because you know when we are speaking then we don't rely uh, you know realize unreliability of that because humans are smart enough we will say that what did you say sometimes voice voice is dropped that may happen that when your friend is speaking you will not be able to hear that you will say that what did you say and that fellow will repeat it and that is how you get that so we as users as applications are making sure that we are overcoming the unreliability which is imposed by the nature of cell phones but however they do not provide the reliable communication are we all on the same page so what i wanted to tell you here is all the stumps are independent sometimes people think that if it is connectionless it will be wireless and if it is wired then it will be reliable or if it is wireless then it will be mobile it is not so you can have any combination like our cell phone is wireless but it is connection oriented and it is unreliable our courier service is wireless but it is reliable and it is connectionless so your connection or mobility has nothing to do with being reliable or unreliable so now let us you know talk, talk about this when we say our desktop computers in the offices in the office where we have many desktop computers so that is not mobile and that is not wireless when we are saying that in the hotel room we have a notebook computer which is connected through internet through the cable so it is not wireless but it is mobile you can take it from one place to the other place then we are saying that you know we have the old computers in the unwired building where we have taken the wireless connection but there are desktops so they are not mobile but they are wireless and similarly in the last example shows that it can be mobile and wireless as well similarly here just two of them are mentioned that it is possible to have any of this you can have example of you know it is being wireless and it is not mobile but it can be reliable or it can be unreliable or it can have connection oriented services or it may use connection less services so all the stumps are independent of each other please remember them very clearly so now when we are talking about networks networks can be classified or categorized many different ways you can have personal area network that you will see whether bluetooth is reliable or unreliable we'll see afterwards when you learn bluetooth you will be learning actually the protocol which is used for bluetooth so you will realize if the protocol is providing reliable service and then it is reliable or unreliable so i'm glad that you are able to connect this
so now based on the space in which how big the network is or how near the network is based on that we can categorize our network like local area network metropolitan area network wide area network and then our internet here i should be capital the internet so if we are talking about a personal area network probably the range will be very less these are not the exact figures which you need to follow it could be something plus or minus then if it is within our campus in the university or in the company or in the industry we can say it is local area network now if it is within city then we can say metropolitan area network like if there are three offices of tcs one is mumbai one is hyderabad and one is andhinagar if they are connected then probably they might be using when wide area network and when we are talking about the entire globe then we are talking about the internet again i repeat these are not the exact to you know distance which need to be maintained however these are rough estimates or limits through which we can categorize when we say personal area network at your home it could be something like this you might have wireless mouse printer and the keyboard then even though these are not multiple systems in a way but still it is your pan or personal area network when we say local area network then you can have two three computers connected through the access point and then it might be to the wired network or it can be wireless network that depends so this is wireless lan and for the wireless protocol is 802.11 again that will be covered later on or like in our laboratory we have ethernet we use ethernet in the laboratory where there will be one switch and to the switch all the computers will be connected through a wire so it is switched ethernet however both of these are within range of you know 100 meters or 100 meters so definitely 1 kilometer so they are lan this is wireless lan and this is wired lan but both of both of them are lan then your metropolitan area network may look like this it could be based on your cable tv okay uh, feel free to interrupt me or ask me whenever you have any doubt is everyone with me so far so now this is one way based on the distance we can categorize the network the another way we can categorize the network based on the topology based on how your computers are arranged with each other how the devices are arranged based on that also we can categorize the network we can say it is a star topology or ring topology or bus topology or mesh topology or tree topology or it can be hybrid topology as well have you learnt about this topologies Have you heard these terms earlier? Okay, fine. In which subject have you heard this? CSA? Oh, in school itself. Acha diploma school. And I think in CSA as well, right? In CSA you had this. Did you have it in CSA fourth semester? No. Then general where have you heard in school? Acha okay. anyway you are aware of this so if there is one central entity and to which everyone is connected not necessarily five devices there can be seven devices or three devices or 100 devices but there is one center and then to that each one of them is connected then there is a star topology acha topological sort in graph yes in graph also you would have learned this yes then in the bus topology there will be central bus or a cable and on which all the devices are connected then in ring topology they are forming a ring that one will be having two neighbors and so on in the mesh topology everyone is connected to everyone else it is also known as a complete topology and then in true to tree topology like there will be something then something then something and again here there will be branches 
और हाइब्रिड टोपोलॉजी काइंड ऑफ सो कैन यू क्विकली टेल मी विच वन ऑफ दिस इज मोस्ट रिलायबल ऑफ कोर्स मैश दट इज ट्रू यस does that mean that all the real networks will be using mesh topology because it is reliable no why not why don't we use mesh topology not only it is complex but it is unrealistic and it is very expensive right it is expensive and it is Insane to go for this. Like here, you are having just six one. Ah, uh, tell me how many interconnection links will be there? Yes, thirty. N into n minus one. Not only n minus one. When I say reliable, here I didn't exactly mean reliable. I meant to use the word robust. This mesh topology is robust as compared to all other. When I say robust means, like see, in the star topology, if the central device fails, then no other device can communicate with each other. If the central device fails due to some reason, then the network is stuck. In ring topology, even if just one link is broken. Okay, and here one link is broken. You know, two links are broken. Then this and this will be separated. They will not be able to communicate with each other. In bus topology, if the bus is broken from in between, then this side and this side will be not be able to communicate with each other. While in mesh topology, even if one of the device fails, or if one of the link fails. rest of them will be able to communicate with each other because everyone is connected to everyone else so they have their dedicated link actually yeah so if one of the link is failed then through other link also they can communicate and all others will be able to communicate with each other bhavik that is why mesh is considered robust not reliable let us say robust now in broadcasting a uh, bus can also be used channel bus can also be used for broadcasting like whenever you want to send something put it on the common link and everyone will be receiving that so there are mechanisms to overcome the failures actually what i wanted to convey was that even though mesh is robust we are never going to use that in the real life unless the network is very small and you have exorbitant amount of resources available we are not going to go for that it is expensive and it is unrealistic to have so many links in between why to so invest or rather invest in so much hardware so mostly we'll be going for the you know uh, hybrid topology where internally you might be using bus and then it might be connected to star and then it might be connected to tree or something like that so all of them have advantages and disadvantages and whenever they fail there are mechanisms to overcome them now there is something called circuit switching and packet switching oh, madam will be covering that the subject is divided in two parts two lectures i'll be conducting and two lectures will be conducted by dushital madam or shefali madam they'll be conducting so they will talk about this in detail now this madam might have already talked about we have protocol hierarchies then there are some design issues for each of the layer third point we have talked about then there are service primitives and relationship of services and protocols don't worry if you don't understand all of this at the moment has madam talked about this diagram okay 
before we talk about this i would like you to focus on this okay so here say here is one philosopher and here is another philosopher you know they are at the separate location so let us say let us talk in it scenario where this is one manager and this is another manager let us don't read this messages okay existing one we are overriding that with something else so this is infosys manager of the bangalore office and this is infosys manager of the pune office so he wants to set a meeting but managers are supposed to be busy or it is they'll not call each other just a second So, what will this manager do? This manager will ask the secretary or the subordinate. Let us say he is having one assistant. He will ask the assistant that I want to have a meeting with this Pune manager tomorrow at 9. So, send him a message. So, what will the assistant do? Assistant is again having a secretary, let us say. So, he will ask the secretary to write an email. So, this has just said that I want to have a meeting with that manager so this will say that okay this is name of the manager this is tomorrow at this time and this is the google link through which our manager wants to have a meeting with that manager so what will secretary do he'll type everything and he'll send an email or if it is a formal invitation then it will be typed then it will be printed it will be kept in the envelope and it will be given to the courier service something like that so here your manager wanted to send the message to this manager but he's sending manager a uh, message to the assistant assistant is supposed to actually you know send message to the manager or rather assistant of that manager but what he is doing what she is doing she is sending data to the secretary the secretary which is available in the office or reception office this reception office is giving to the courier and then it is received here or if it is email it is email is received so what the secretary is doing secretary is reading the mail now secretary will not forward the mail secretary is supposed to entertain many manager something like that so she'll give data to the uh, assistant of man manager b and she'll say that okay uh, this manager is asking for you to have meeting and this is the google meet and everything so what will he do he'll ask him that are we free tomorrow at 10 if this fellow says yes then this will make the like okay this is what we are accepting and this is the agenda something like that again she will write the email or she will type in the letter and then letter will be sent which will be received here then what will she do she will open the envelope look at the data what the data is then data will be passed here that letter she will not give letter to him that you read it what she'll do she'll write it that okay the manager has agreed and we can have a meeting something like this flow will be there so i want to ask you some questions now okay. who is peer of this manager manager a who is peer of that manager manager b yes manager a and manager b they use the same protocols they use the same language they decide whether they want to have a meeting or not that is job of them what is job of the assistant this assistant is taking commands from manager doing some processing and sending that to the secretary does it decide whether she wants to have a meeting do secretaries decide whether they want to set meeting or not no they are communicators you know they take the data they keep in the appropriate form and then they send it what is job of this the job of this is to make sure that data is delivered to the other office that is what is job of the secretaries so can i say that secretary of a is sending data to secretary of b can i say that yes can i say secretary is providing uh, services to assistant Why, why cannot we say that secretary is providing services to the assistant? 
doesn't she provide services to the assistant assistant said that i want to ask this office that are you free tomorrow you are supposed to send this email or you are supposed to send this envelope so what she does what he does is type that print it put it in the envelope then write down the address and give to the courier so is he not providing services yes we can say that he is providing services to the assistant can we say that this secretary on b side is providing services to the assistant of b yes can we say assistant is providing services to the manager yes so now why i'm asking this i want you to be very clear that data flows here downward at the transmitter data flows downward at the receiver data flows upward like here manager is giving data to assistant assistant is giving data to secretary while here secretary is giving data to assistant and assistant is giving data to manager however in both the cases manager is using services of the assistant so data can be flowing downward or it can be flowing upward but always upper layer is using services of the lower layer would you agree with me okay so now so here you know through which they are saying each other this is known as interface interface is the link or the medium through which two layers communicate this is interface of this this is interface of assistant and secretary and here do you think manager is aware that secretary is doing the job is manager aware about that no and is not even look out of the manager what manager wants is i'm telling my assistant now whatever assistant wants he'll do it assistant is again giving data to the secretary now assistant is not worried about whether he is sending by x courier or y courier or z courier as long as message is conveyed here the assistant is fine is that he is not insisting what you use blue blue dot only or you use dtdc only there is not look out similarly means here wired channel can be used wireless can be used fiber optic can be used or coaxial cable can be used this people are not worried about that what they want is message should go across successfully and everyone here the message was plain is he adding to that something yes he is adding that here simply he is saying that i want to have you know a meeting with manager b of pune what this will do this will find out the name of the manager he'll set a google meet and then give to this what this will do she'll write the message on the envelope she'll write down the address of this and then it will be adding that means each one is adding something now here when the envelope was received this will not give envelope as it is to the manager she'll remove the envelope and see what the content is then it will be passing here he'll read this and he will not give the minor details like this is the google meet through which you are supposed to connect will you be available tomorrow he'll simply say are you available tomorrow at 10 it means whatever message was sent here only that message will be received here however message was modified in between in order to facilitate the communication i think now it is time that we can directly look at this so here there is host 1 and there is host 2 this layer wants to send data to layer 5 only but then through interface of layer 4 and 5 data will be given downward where here something might be added then it will be given to the lower layer then again something might be added here then it will be given here and then it will be given to the physical medium on the physical medium data will travel and it will be given to the destination it will receive the data whatever was added here will be removed then it will be given to the upper layer then again it might be processed given here given here and so on so now answer me who gets data from layer 3 so 
you know the entire answer should be if it is a transmitter then layer 2 if it is a receiver then layer 4 so if it is a transmitter then layer 2 will be receiving data from layer 3 and if it is a receiver then layer 4 will receive data from layer 3 who is providing services to layer 3 at the transmitter layer 2 and who is providing services to layer 3 at the receiver no layer 2 even at the receiver layer 2 is providing services to layer 3 like here data flows upward but manager is not providing services here assistant is providing services to manager only when he is passing on the data he is providing the services here when he is getting the data he is providing the services so please be very clear about the data and services services are always provided by lower layer to upper layer regardless of it is a transmitter or a receiver however data flow can be in the different direction are we on the same page Now let us say, this fellow has said that we, I want to have a meeting and now host 2 is replying. Okay, listen to the condition. Host 2 is replying that yes, we can have a meeting. Okay, host 2 is replying. So now in case of reply, who is getting data from layer 4? While the reply travels, who receives data from layer 4? Layer 3 on host 2 and on host 1? The reply goes here and then here. So layer 5, right? Layer 5 will receive data from layer 4 when it is acting as a receiver say now this fellow is sending the reply that means host 2 is acting as a transmitter and host 1 is acting as a receiver so remember data flows downward whenever it is acting as a transmitter data flows upward whenever it is acting as a receiver however layer k always provides services to layer k plus 1 and layer k utilizes services of layer k minus 1 then tell me layer 5 layer 5 is getting data from which layer when this is a transmitter host 1 is now a transmitter then layer 5 will be getting data from which layer or who will give data to layer 5 will layer 5 generate data on its own no we can say user or application right Either user will be providing data to layer 5 or application will be giving data to layer 5. Isn't it? Like let us say, these layers will be always there in the communication. When you are sending an email, that means user is sending data, what data is to be sent. And when user gives data, then this will get active, this will get active. And then this layer 5 is again here providing services to the inbox of the other user, to the email box of the other user. So, topmost layer is providing services to the user. Topmost layer is providing services to the user and is getting data from the user if it is a transmitter and is getting data from layer 4 if it is a receiver. Layer 2 understand the same protocol, they are peer of each other. All the layer 4s in the world understand the same protocol. They are peers of each other. Like I say, if I say transport layer, then all the transport layers will be doing the same job. If I say physical layer, then all the physical layers in the world will be doing the same job. Interface through which they are providing services to each other and they are getting and providing data. So I think we can keep it at this. Please ask me if you have any doubt so far. Do we have any doubt?
Okay, some of you have joined uh, pretty late today. Please ensure that in the next class onwards, you join in time. So, the next class will be on Wednesday, Wednesday 1.30. And this Friday we don't have a class because I have already conducted it right now. Next time onwards, we will be having classes on Wednesday and Friday. Okay, so I'm ending the lecture now. Thank you.